Lawrence Memorial Hospital now brings you better health. Sleep apnea turns out to be very common. We used to think that maybe 4% of men and 2% of women might have sleep apnea. Now it's more like perhaps a fourth of the population may have some degree of sleep apnea. It is more common in people who are overweight, but I have really skinny people who have terrible sleep apnea. It often runs in families. So if you have any relatives that have sleep apnea, then you should be tested. If you have the symptoms such as snoring, observed apnea, feeling tired during the day, or if you have hypertension, sometimes that's due to untreated sleep apnea. But we realize it's more and more common than we think, and so it's a little frightening to think that you might meet somebody out on the road who is very sleepy because of untreated sleep apnea. They might fall asleep driving, and so really anyone who drives for a living should be checked for sleep apnea. And Anyone uh, who has any question about the symptoms should see either the primary care physician or a sleep medicine physician to see whether a sleep study is indicated. There's a questionnaire that we give out called the STOP questionnaire, and the S stands for snoring, T stands for tired or sleepy or fatigued, O stands for observed apnea or observed shallow breathing by a bed partner or somebody in a hotel room or somebody camping out with you. And then P stands for pressure or high blood pressure. So anyone who has any two of those four needs to have a sleep study to see whether they have sleep apnea.